Well, the day has finally come. It's here! We're going! Happy holidays! Happy completely. holidays! <laughs> uh, it's the 1st of September and it's officially Disney Day. It is! It is! <sighs> it's 6.40! Good morning, pal! <laughs> <laughs> it's 6.40. Um, some might say it's a little early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been awake for quite some time. Um, I woke up and it was like 3.45 and I was like, oofed. I can really get back to sleep. I think I slept for a little bit and then I woke up, it was just after five and I was like, nah, that's me, I'm done. So. I actually slept quite well. You did? Um, I yeah, think I fell asleep about just before half nine, I think I'd yeah, say I'd fall asleep. Yeah. And then that was me until four past five-ish, five-ish? Yeah, just after I was um, awake, yeah. So I'd, um, I'd call that a pretty successful night. No complaints with the hotel at all. Um, it was really quiet throughout the night. Um, and it was also like really dark. They've also got like blackout curtains. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pitch black good, all night, yeah. which was good for me. Would recommend this hotel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we've just got ready. Um, we've done the final check to make sure we've got everything. Packed our suitcases, they're all locked, ready to go. Yeah. Um, we couldn't really find any legit time of when bag drop opens. Um, I think I've seen that it's open two hours before your flight departs or for boarding. I think two hours before you depart is too soon, so short a time. So it might be two hours so... before boarding, which would be eight. <laughs> um, but we're just going to head because we don't know what the queues are going to be like. Um, we, sometimes they can take up to an hour themselves. So yeah. we're just going to head over, see what's what, um, obviously find the BA checking desk. We've already checked in online anyway, we've got our seat numbers. Uh, so really we just need to get our passports checked, uh, get the bags dropped and head through security. Yeah. And get some food. Yes, breakfast is, is first on the agenda. Today. Yeah, I mean, I did just eat too many muffins, but <laughs> that was more from a than really waste on point of view rather than. Yeah, so, so we'll see you at the airport. Yeah. Alright, so just to reiterate how close the hotel is, we've literally just come out of the door and we need to go up that escalator there to the tram. Um, which will take us to the South Terminal. This is technically, technically our first ride of the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just getting on our first ride, which is the South Carolina shuttle. <laughs> Tried to get the front, so hopefully we get a window seat. A <laughs> window seat. <laughs> So we just got off the um, tram, what do you call it? Shuttle? Shuttle, yeah, the shuttle, shuttle. that's the right word. <laughs> um, to the South Terminal. Um, really straightforward, really easy, really quick. Um, and we've managed to get to the British Airways check-in desk. We're still not sure if it's too early for bag, bag drop, so we're just gonna stop a second, um, <laughs> assess the situation. Uh, the queue's not too bad, if, I mean, if there is any queue at the minute. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna assess the situation. Hopefully get our bag drop soon, yeah. and then head up to security and breakfast. Yeah. Bags are dropped. Um, we just went through the self, self bag drop. Um, first time we've done that. Um, there was no queue. Um, the guy just checks you with boarding pass and passport, um, sets you up on a little machine, and then you just follow the on-screen instructions. It's really really easy. I panicked a little bit because it was me doing it. Um, sorted yeah all dropped. it was it was really nerve-wracking i don't know why i think it's the responsibility of having to do it yourself yeah. maybe but and, and uh, we haven't done it for so long like, and like the tags that they give you they just stick without having to peel nothing so we were a bit like <laughs> confused yeah like what the heck um but that's us through okay. so uh, we're gonna go through departures and well two departures and security now um yeah hopefully that goes up just as smoothly <laughs> all right we're through security but it's probably the most stressful part, not because it was like stressful for us, but just other people are just so silly. It's like they yeah. have no airport etiquette. Um, yeah, which makes things really crowded and stressful, but yeah, we're through. <laughs> Bit of a breakfast feel. We were planning to just go to Weatherspoons just because it's like 
kind of cheap and cheerful has the most options but obviously everyone's thought that too and it's absolutely rammed so we're in the queue for Wagamama because they look like they do reasonably decent breakfast so they do have full vegan breakfast which is obviously feels to me so yeah so we're gonna give this a go give so a shot. hopefully we'll be waiting too long So breakfast has been had, it took ages, it, did. it wasn't the best experience, it was very busy, they were very short staffed um, and I forgot my water, I asked for a water, um, but it doesn't matter. It's, you also, you also never got a knife. Yeah, I, I never got a knife so I had to use my fork to, um, to eat the breakfast, but it is what it is. It wasn't the best, but we're fed to an extent, yeah. um, we just got now. a Starbucks to ease the pain. <laughs> um, just wait really now. Yeah. Um, gates info should be coming up in about 40 minutes, 50 That's minutes. Right, yeah, 10 to. Um, so we're just kind of chilling. Um, we're going to go to Boots and get some snacks. Yep. Just and, for the plane, just in case uh, we don't like the food. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Um, we've, we've liked it in the past, so hopefully it'll be okay, but just, just in case. Yeah. And uh, that'll be us. So yeah, we'll keep in touch with that later on the way to the gate. Alright, so it's 9.48 and we're just waiting for our gate to go up. Uh, it's that one there, 9.49, so it should be any minute now. Alright, so our gate number's just been called, it's gate 21, so we're going to take the, uh, we're going to take the, um, the walk now. So gate 21, hope it's not too far, and we'll let you know when we're there. Alright, so we've made it to the gate. Um, so it's just a case of waiting now, waiting for boarding. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be at 10 o'clock, but it's really, really quiet here just now. Um, so it's probably going to be a, a little bit later, but no delays so far, hopefully. It was um, a weird setup though, wasn't it? Like, we, um, I don't know if it's maybe it's just Gatwick or it's changed since we last flew, but mm -hmm. usually you get to the gate and you just wait, and then they call you up and do your boarding pass, check your passport, and then you go on the plane. But here, like, we had to show our passport and born pass and get it all scanned before we came into like the sitting bit, yeah. which I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for. So then we felt I like, was completely thrown. Yeah, I just kept asking loads of questions, like how long we were going for and if we had our esters and stuff. It's probably just us being ho awkward humans and not preparing to be asked there. Yeah, but um, I wasn't expecting it. So then I felt so we were a bit flustered. Yeah. Um, but we're through and we're just we're just waiting to board. So yeah, hopefully it's uh soon and we're on we'll be on the way all started <laughs> we're on the plane and we're in our seats and we think that the whole row behind us is empty and in front and in front um so we can actually recline which is really exciting um so yeah we'll see you on the flip side
um, yeah, <laughs> we're here. Um, we've somehow made it here. We still don't really know how and that it's real, but... We're still at uh, yeah. a loss for words. Um, it hasn't fully sunk in yet. Um, I feel very emotional Yeah. Um, when I think about actually the fact that we're here. Scott's um, back, really, just, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and speak so a bit real. more uh, later, but for now, let's give you a room tour. Yeah. All right, so we are obviously staying at Pop Century. Um, it's a favorite resort of ours. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the window, but this is where our room is. So that's uh, the hippy dippy pool over there. So just a bit further along would be the um, the main hall. Uh, I can't think of the word, what's the word? <laughs> it's a lobby, isn't it? Yeah, so just a bit further down would be the lobby um, and the food hall and things like that. Um, so we're in the 60s building and we're on the third floor. Um, which is all right, it's a bit of a walk, even though it's a preferred room, but it could be much worse. So here's the door, obviously. Um, first up, oh, let me get that in focus, there we go. First up, we've got a fridge, which is awesome for drinks and snacks and the like. Um, but more importantly, we have a coffee machine with the amazing Joffrey's coffee. And this is the 50th anniversary blend, so they're very stoked to try that. We've got the TV, massive TV by the way. Um, chest, chest of drawers and cupboards and stuff. Um, we've got the table and chairs here, which obviously that pulls down to another bed. Um, we might not use it, we didn't last time. Um, we kind of just used it to like store stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll see how we get on. Here's the bed. Um, there's USBs and just general plug sockets as well. Amazing Mickey portrait with lights above the bed. Um, there's also plug sockets that side as well. A uh, big area to sort of store your cases or anything that you kind of want to store. Uh, coat pegs, some more outlets on the wall down there. And then we've got the bathroom, hi! Um, wardrobe, some hangers and some more storage space. Iron and board if you should so need it. Towels, cabinet, uh, that's just our stuff there. Um, tissues, towels, sink, nice big sink. Um, obviously a nice big mirror and a little vanity one too and then just the bathroom so toilet and just a shower with the uh, Disney H2O stuff on the wall so nice shower head too so that's it you've probably seen these rooms a million times but hey yeah I know um, obviously you said it would be it'd be a preferred room um, although it's like at like the very end of this vlog, yeah. it's preferred in terms of if you want the Skyliner because the Skyliner station is literally like, I can like, see it from here pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, it's literally right there. Yeah, um, I, I wasn't sort of um, complaining, it's just, a, yeah. a, it's further away than we've ever sort of, what we were last time yeah. when we had a preferred room, so. Yeah. Um, but hey, we've got a nice view, it should be quiet, we're three floors up, and yeah, we're close to the Skyliner, so it should be ideal. So. <laughs> Uh, it's raining, isn't it? It is. Our plan <laughs> was to, we were going to do a little sneaky into Magic Kingdom. It's open to 11pm tonight, so so far, no change on that. Yeah, we did get a park reservation just in the old chance we were like fancying it and we think we were we were leaning towards doing it and there was a reason for it. That is still the plan. Put a little um, dampener on it. We but... need to sort of go to the food court to pick up our like uh, resort mugs. Um, I need to buy a poncho clearly um, <laughs> and to just have a mooch anyway um, and I think maybe then see how it is maybe grab some food yeah see how it is then i mean we've got how many hours have we got until park close uh five ish five hours so if we don't get going tonight it's okay that wasn't the original plan it just wouldn't we're going, we're going tomorrow yeah we're all day magic kingdom tomorrow so uh we'll keep you updated yeah. hopefully hopefully we get get into a park today we'll see Good morning. Hello. <laughs> um, so it's now the next day, um, the day after travel day, um, but it's really early. It's like half five in the morning. Um, we've been awake since about four, which we always are uh, the first night. Um, but we slept pretty well. I did, yeah. Um, we managed to stay awake till about half nine, which is good for us. Um, we were really flagging. 
uh, we did end up going to Magic Kingdom. We didn't film anything um, for two reasons. One being we were so tired and so delirious that it didn't didn't feel real. Um, mm. And two, just because we wanted to just have the evening to sort of take it in, um, which I still don't think we did really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the um, yeah, so just wrapping up from the travel day, um, everything went absolutely fine. No complaints at all, apart from the plain food being a bit... Mm. I liked it. My um, plane was good. So, <laughs> yeah, they, they served my gluten-free needs very well. Um, yeah. I enjoyed everything. It was, I mean, it's not great, but it was edible yeah. and, and tasted fine. Some, like. some of my things weren't edible. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't like to complain too much. Um, so, yeah, the flight was fine, and even... Obviously, there's no um, Magical Express anymore, but we booked with uh, Mears. Um, and it's literally the same same deal, same place as you would the Magical Express. So you just get off the plane, go straight to ground uh, transportation. And uh, yeah, they put you on put you on a bus and take you to your resort. Yeah. And um, obviously, you, know, you, got, you had to pay for it now, whereas it was free before. But it was still only $32, like $16 each mm -hmm. one way for both of us. Yeah. Um, which is what we did because we're not getting it back because we're going to, straight to Universal and we're just going to get an Uber, I think. Yeah. Um, so I would highly recommend yeah, using that service. For, for the price of it, like, um, no brainer. So yeah, that was that. And we used the app to check into our room. Um, so we could literally come straight to our room, no need to go to the front desk. Um, and that was that. So yeah, we got the um, Disney gift card with the one we booked. It was like a package deal. Um, and they've emailed it to me and I've managed to add it to my Apple wallet. Yes, um, so yes. hopefully we will try that out today, hopefully, um, and it sh should be just be a case of scanning it. So okay. yeah, so today's plan is Magic Kingdom full day, um, but we'll wrap this vlog up here and start afresh when we actually get up and get dressed. Yeah, get up there and put coffees. <laughs> um, so, yeah. so thanks for hanging out with us on this travel day, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe, Hit and it. we'll see you in Magic Kingdom. See you soon.